everybody, it is I, Mr. Char- Why did I change my voice just then? It is I, Mr. Charlie Murray, and welcome back to the Jedi Knight with Chapter 2! It is May the 4th, people! Well, not when I'm recording this, but it's May the 4th, people! Right, we're gonna go over here because, I believe, we have a holo recording that needs to be seen. Ooh, her eyes! Her eyes have actually gotten a bit... Ooh. Views two message. View me there. I can't speak today. View message two. Greetings again. I have searched for news of your battles with Darth Engro, but found nothing. I hope your hunt goes well. When I left Tython, I promised our enemies would fear your name. I'm keeping that vow. I was in a cantina on Hutta. Some filthy Mandalorians were bragging about how many Jedi they've killed. I took one's head for a trophy, told the rest of those scum you were coming for them. The terror in their faces. I wish you could have seen it. I haven't felt this good in years. Goodbye, for now. Until we meet again. Until we meet again. Wait, is that that done? Wait. Oh, that's T7! Oh! Well, we still had second one to do anyway. I heard that pop again, whatever that pop is. I'm not wearing my actual armor. Hold on. There we go, it's the right color now. Uh, unified colors. Right, your, your eyes changed color as well. Is that, was that supposed to be. Yeah, her eyes have changed color because of her dark side. Alright. Uh, did I. I thought I told. Yeah, show dark side corruption. So, I guess her eyes are still gonna change color no matter what then. Okay. Anyway, it's time to begin chapter two. The force is with you now and always. Ugh, even in death it's you're gonna be bothering me. His power is growing. Only you can stop him. You must go to Tatooine. Get off my ship! Leave me alone, old man. I've dealt with enough dead Jedi for one day. A starship crashed in a desert canyon. Use the Force. Find it. Hey, he won't listen. Who were you talking to? The holocom's not even on. Are you spying on me? Don't follow me around. Stay in your quarters unless I need you. I was worried saving the Republic would make you all soft and cuddly. What a relief. Jedi fighting too much. Vacation recommended. Where you are? I assume you have a destination in mind? Anywhere but here. All I know is I'm done with this place. Finally, something we agree on. Right, we need to travel to Tatooine! Right, where's my thingy? This way! We're on the road to Tatooine! Have we been to Tatooine before? I actually can't remember. Hmm, find the crashed Jedi ship! Ooh, I think we probably have been to Tatooine before. Um. I just can't remember why. Wait, 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 whoa, whoa, whoa! Whoa! Where's the beautiful ship going down to Tatooine? Where's that gone? Oh, okay. Well, I, guess, I guess we'll just have the crappy going down to the planet then. Not the beautiful, oh my god, absolutely gorgeous planet one. Instead of the crackly, horrible, manky old vanilla planet. Fine. I mean, I've had no codex peer up, so we must have been to Tatooine before. It's like I can't even remember because, of course, I've stopped and started this series so many times that I can't even remember what I've been doing in the past now. So, you know, I mean, there's a droid there with the story arc, but I couldn't give two craps about. Um, right, where is the ship? The ship is somewhere. Um, out there. Out there. Um, I guess I've got to go to the speeder taxi thingy to find it. Not far then, just just understand. down there. Well then, kill those one rats. I mean, how dare you kill those poor innocent creatures? I just, as a Jedi, I tell you to start kill them. I thought I'd have a Coca Cola. Um, I'm not sponsored by Coca Cola at all. Um, nope, definitely not. Um, I mean it's uh, it's best served chilled. Yes, it's sparkling soft drink with vegetable extra extracts. Yes, it's uh, absolutely. Delicious, and um, you should definitely, definitely buy some. Uh, but again, I'm still not sponsored by Coca-Cola. I mean, it's not like it's it it melts in your mouth and it just makes your mouth feel all tingly and oh, 
But definitely not sponsored by Coca-Cola, no. no. That actually makes no sense. It melts in your mouth. It is a bloody drink, Charlie. It's technically a, it's a liquid. How can, it, how can a liquid melt? Well done, Charlie. You are the smartest. It's taking a while. I'm just uh, letting it take me, really. Oh, got to turn that way a bit. Put myself back on numlock. Go past this droid. You see nothing, droid. Just going to go past you. And uh, are we there yet? Still got about a minute to go. Right, I what? I heard a blue blue there. Right. Um. Yeah. Sorry. What? Oh, over there. Okay. Um. Hi, hi, hi droid. Bye, bye, droid. Um. Right. Um. Well, you're a beautiful creature, aren't you? Suns Ridge. So, so, uh, Suns Rise Ridge. I don't know what I'm saying anymore. Why have you got glowy arms? Your arms glow. Also, why are there crickets in a desert? I would never know the answers to these questions. Is that the phase I'm gonna go in? It is indeed. Ah, oh, of course. I got some enemies I need to kill. Oh well. If I was like this, I wish I had a stealth ability. It's a shame, really. Oh wait, have I not got... I was going to say, I thought I didn't have the buffs up, but I do. Force my lovely, I got an experience boost. That's good. Do I have a stim pack, though? Um... No. But now I do. Uh, defeat the Harrowers. Who are the Harrowers? Oh, Sith Harrowers. Okay. Oh, I can feel a burp coming on. Damn, the Coca-Cola. I mean, the delicious Coca-Cola. The Coca-Cola is... Oh, absolutely amazing. You you need to buy it now. It's just... Still not sponsored by Coca-Cola, but... Ha! Oh, Coca-Cola. Coca-Cola. You know, technically, we are all advertisers of Coca-Cola. When you think about it. Because... I mean, we all drink it, and we always show people that we're drinking it, and it just it subconsciously makes people want it. Why are you dying so slowly? Just like, right now, you're not wanting to go for a drink of Coca-Cola, right? But subconsciously down the line, maybe you'll just think, huh, oh, I fancy Coca-Cola, and then you'll go get one. So it's just subconsciously, you're thinking about it. You're not realizing you're thinking about it. Oh, well, you're thinking about it now, because I'm telling you about it, but subconsciously, well, stop absorbing everything. Can I disrupt you? No. Wait, increases your maximum health by 30%. Oh, I need to use that ability at some point. Good, good as new? I thought I was going to say, I thought you were meaning him. He was good as new? I'm afraid he's dead. Ah, and there's the other house. There only, I guess there's only three. Alright, you're the last one. Die! Oh, I tried to kick ya. Because that stuns and interrupts their action, but it didn't. Damn it. Not fair. Well, you will die eventually. Come on. There we go. Speak to Joma Chul. Joma. You are... Oh. By the wreckage. What are you doing in that little tiny area? Oh, you're meditating. Lovely. I know your face. The one who defeated Darth Angrel, the hero of Tython. That's a uh, heroes of Tython. I fought Darth Angrel too. My mission was a secret. No one knew where I was. How did you find me? Uh, I had a vision. The spirit of my dead master, Orgus Din, sent me here. He said you needed help. Wait a minute. Was that all the weirdness back on the ship? Thanks for trusting me. You're most welcome. Thank the Force and your master. I thought I was dead. Under the circumstances, I think we had better contact my superiors. I'd almost repaired my hollow before the Sith ambushed me. Jomar! Where are you? Masters, I completed my mission, but Sith assassins shot down my vessel over Tatooine. The spirit of Master Orgus Din sent my rescuer. I believe you know her. Tell them my name! My mission to succeed, Master Satya. This is proof. I knew she was the nexus of our fates, but events are transpiring faster than I foresaw. The galaxy is spiraling into war. Get your heads out of the council chambers and into the fight. Patience. There is much you still don't know. Jomar, a medical shuttle is en route. Before it arrives, give your rescue at the sensor logs you recorded. Bring us those logs immediately. We'll explain everything when you're on Typhon. You better do. This burden is now yours. Guard it with your life. Go. Hurry. If I never return to Tatooine, it'll be too soon. We'll meet again on Tython. May the Force be with you. 
<laughs> Her eyes are kind of creepy. Um, wait, why are you still there? Why are you still meditating? You should be gone. Oh well. Uh, he said to guard it with our lives. Um, well, I could do that. But I could just sort of like get rid of it. Hey, uh, should we chuck these away? Uh, we, don't, we don't need them, do we? Do we? No? Let's just chuck them away. Uh, anyway, terrible joke. Let's move on. You know, I tell you what, I always hate this. When I'm coming out here, look how barren this looks. This looks incredibly barren. I mean, put something there to make it look a little bit alive, but just this whole it's just area, it's just it's too kotor, it's too barren, and I hate it. Um, right, where am I going to back to my ship? I need to go ah oh, over there. So far away. I don't have the time. You know, I could probably be on Tython right now if I had just oh I need to test something out first. Um, can I now go to strongholds? from inside here um, well I, I don't I don't care about that um, but can I go to strongholds now you cannot travel to a stronghold from this area seriously Bioware why have you not fixed that you just need to put this out here just put it there that's all you need to do and people can travel to the stronghold that's all you need to do that's all you need to do anyway going back to what I was saying from the amount of time it took me to actually get here and get to my ship, I probably could have gone to my stronghold, gone onto my ship, and went to Tython. I could probably be on Tython by now. Hey, yay, yay. And we're on our way to Tython. Speak to Master Cecil Shan. Alrighty then. Do you know, in all my times of coming through this area, you know, being dropped off by the shuttle, I never realised that it actually just landed in the court. Like just here, I, I thought it was coming through like a, a shielded area. All, all this time, I had no idea. Just completely blank. Cause I've always just thought I'd been like, ah, nah, da 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 da. Okay, yeah, let's let's go through. Blah blah blah. And I've always come out like, yeah, nah, 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 nah. I've never realised that there's actually no ceiling. That that's how they traverse in and out. Ha! Huh. The things you realise, even though I've played for this game for three and a half years. Sorry, four and a half years. It's so it was fifth anniversary this year. Oh my god! I know, right? Fifth anniversary this year. The celebrations better be great. I brought the sensor locks, Master Satil. I'm sure you have many questions. Master Tol Braga will answer them. It's good to finally meet you in person. They say you're the greatest Jedi the Order has seen in generations. I believe the Force has guided you to me. Together, we'll defeat the Empire. It's about time someone on the Council got serious about this war. Still impatient as ever. You're sure about this one, Braga? I'm organizing a top-secret strike team of our best and brightest, Jedi who don't know the meaning of failure. Twice, you've saved the Jedi Order from destruction. Bengal Moore and Darth Angle were formidable opponents. Now I ask you to confront the ultimate evil and help me capture the Sith Emperor. Wouldn't it be easier to kill the Emperor? If the opportunity presents itself, we shouldn't hesitate. Killing the Emperor only creates a power vacuum. My plan will end the Sith Empire forever. There's an ancient fortress orbiting the Imperial homeworld, Droman Kaas. It's hidden by a powerful cloaking device. The Emperor rules his people from this cloaked fortress. Not even the highest ranking Sith can find him. But we're going to locate that fortress, get inside it, and seize the Emperor. Getting out is a real trick. Unless you plan to hold the Emperor hostage, leaving will be a bigger problem. Our entire operation will be conducted in secret. The Empire won't know we're there. We've already made great strides toward our objective. The man you saved on Tatooine scouted the Drummond Cast system. His sensor logs will help us plan this assault. We'll plot a hyperspace route through the Imperial Navy's defenses. Slip right past them. In the meantime... The members of my strike team are uncovering ways to pierce the cloaking device and defeat the security around the Emperor's fortress. But where's the inn in the meantime? Use expertise on Amora. There we go. The Empire and Republic are at war there and the fighting has endangered our mission. What would I bring to your little strike team? We're on a mission of peace. But we'll need the Jedi Order's greatest warrior to achieve that goal. We've placed great responsibility on you, but I know you won't fail us. Contact your fellow strike team member Warren Sodoro when you reach Balmora. He'll explain the mission. We're going to save the galaxy. 
May the force be with us. I mean, you got the right idea with peace. Um, not sure if you got the right intentions though, because yeah, sure, I'll bring peace. Yeah, that's true. That's true. But uh, a peace? You mean me slaughtering everybody? Yeah, that way we will have some peace, and you know, yeah, I guess your idea is to have everyone, you know, in prison. But me, it's slaughtering everybody. So yeah, yeah, let's let's go do that. Uh, I gotta stay up late. That's why I'm recording this late because I gotta stay up. Know why? I'm going to see Captain America tomorrow night. Yeah, well, like I said, I'm recording this on Wednesday, the 27th. So Captain America is out tomorrow midnight. Yay! So. Uh, I'm gonna be so tired. Ah, Master Braga told me you were coming. Warren Sidoru, a pleasure. I'm grateful for your assistance. The situation is growing desperate. The Republic picked an unfortunate time to drive the Empire off Balmora. It's made our team's mission that much harder. The Republic military always makes extra work for the Jedi. Liberating the planet is a worthy cause. Its people have suffered greatly under Imperial rule. Balmora is home to the largest weapon manufacturing plants in the galaxy. Half the munitions used in the last war originated on this world. The Empire develops horrific new instruments of destruction here. Balmora's creations have killed countless innocents. Even from orbit I feel the death and darkness pervading this planet. Balmora's despair is palpable, but we must work through it. We've learned the Empire has a cloaking device prototype at one of Balmora's advanced weapon factories. It's the same technology hiding the Emperor's fortress. If we obtain that cloaking device prototype, we can understand how it works, develop a way to see through it. Skip the fancy euphemisms, Warren. We're here to commit burglary. It's not theft in my book, more like disarmament. So theft. Finding the cloaking device prototype is almost impossible thanks to the invasion. We need experienced native guides to sort through the chaos. Balmora has a well-established civilian resistance. Their spy network's knowledge of the Empire would be invaluable. Because, you know, if you're going to take something from somebody when they don't want you to, it's called theft. Unless, of course, you're police. Yeah, that's true. Because if somebody takes your gun away from you and you're a murderer, well, uh, yeah, I guess it's not theft, it is just, yeah, okay, I see your point. Your tone indicates there's a complication. War breeds chaos, chaos breeds confusion. And confusion breeds mistrust. Mistrust breeds what? the resistance doesn't trust the Republic. Despite my best negotiations, they remain uncooperative. Can't say I blame them. The Empire's driven us off this planet twice already, leaving the resistance holding the bag. Republic Command just intercepted a distress call. A resistance medical facility is about to be overrun. I'd go, but an Imperial armor column's in my way. I need you to save that medical facility. We have armies here, don't we? The Republic has its hands full. Trust me, it's up to you. It always I'm is. I'm sending the medical facility's location. I don't know what you'll be facing there, but do whatever you must to save the Resistance fighters. I'll meet you there as soon as I can. May the Force be with you. Right. Um, I can speak to both of you, but I don't care. Let's go. I really should do the missions. I really should, but... Yeah. I don't know. I just can't be bothered because I've already, like I said, I've already done them, and I don't want to listen to. It'd be for your benefit. But then, if you want to see their companion stories, just, just, just look at the video of companion stories. You know, just, just look at those. Look at somebody else's videos where the companion stories. You know, it's just, I don't know. I'm too tired to care. Oh, and go back to Captain America. If you want to know who's Solomon, well. Pretty obvious who's gonna win, right? Right, pretty obvious. Captain America. I said, I said, I said nothing. No, it's just, I no, I said nothing. Captain America. No, I don't want to go. I don't want to go back to my ship. I accidentally mispressed that. Why? Why do they have that button there when my ship is like 50 meters away? Back I go. Is that what I get for being Team Captain America? It's just... I mean, it's like, yeah, sure. Sure, right. We heard that Robert Downey Jr. is gonna be in the Spider-Man film. But it doesn't mean he's gonna win Captain America Civil War. Just just gonna point that out. That doesn't mean he's gonna win. But anything could happen. 
You know, maybe it'll be like Batman vs Superman, where they fight and then they are best friends. And I would say spoiler alert, but because I hated that movie, I don't give a flying. I can't swear on my videos. Why can't I swear? I can, but I have kids watching this, so I can't swear. I just, I no, I can't, I can't. And yet, I'll happily say words like bastard, Charlie Logic. I joy was the twanging in and out of existence. Then, right, Bug Town. Finally. Ugh. Probably won't record for much longer because I am so tired. Um, right, who am I speaking to? Um, you? No, because you're the flashpoint for Terrell 5. Um, anyway, let's let's go. Oh, is that, is that where I've got to go? Over there? No. I've got to go all the way over there. Oh, why do they always do that to me? Somebody got cold. I can hear two people sniffling. You got colds? Mm. Get a Kleenex. Come on, can I jump over? Can I jump up? No. Oh, I actually nearly made it then. Ah, oh, nearly made that. Oh well. Um, I know there's a Decacron up there, but I don't think I need it because it's legacy bound. And I've already got it. I think. I think so. Ah, get away, get away, get away, get away, get away. Ah. Oh, attacking me. Oh god, how many of you are there? Oh dear. Oh my god, they won't stop coming. Oh, what was that ability? Kill a bunch of you then. Alright. You're a damn. Okay, the resistance on Balmora. Defeat the Colocoids. Oh, I've got to defeat every single one. Oh, who are you attacking? Oh, him. Oh, you were an easy kill. Okay, then. I guess these guys are going to be easy kills as well. Uh, let's do this, because why not? Well, I don't exactly... What's the point in putting that there? Ooh, bug off. Lovely. Uh, yeah, what was the point in putting that there? If, um... The gas wasn't going to reach them and hurt them in any way. I don't know. I guess I had to pull them over there. Uh, Doc! Doc! Hi, Doc! Hi! Companion! The Jedi bought us some time. Get our wounded to the secure area. Move it! I'm the Chief Medic. Just call me Doc. I appreciate your hard work, Gorgeous. But there's a whole nest of colicoids coming. You look no like, time to evacuate. You look like Malavai with a mustache. Mm. Well, romance does lead to the dark side. I'd never let anything bad happen to a nice guy like you. Not even if I asked nicely. I've got dozens of wounded here. Hope you're not one of those junior Jedi. Do we have to save him too? I'll head for the secure area and stabilize casualties. Here they come! You know, I think I'd have to say, even for a video game ca character, he's actually quite handsome. I'd have to say, yes, if I do say so myself. To me, Doc is like the, um... He's like the Poe Dameron of the uh, Old Republic era, in my personal opinion. Yes. Colocoids will eat us alive if the tunnels stay open. You can collapse them with your Jedi tricks, right? Yes, yes I can, but you clearly know a lot about Jedi if you don't know what tricks I'm going to be using. You just assume that I have tricks. Colocoids are burrowing in the med lab. I could use a little help here. They don't look like they're burrowing, they look like they've already burrowed. So, you know, get that right, Doc. I mean, you're handsome, but get that right. Oh, can I, can I, can I, can I, can I please destroy this generator? Can I? There we go. I say generator, I don't know what it is, but it's frozen them. Frozen them in ice. Not in time, in ice. Not ice in my pack opening videos, just ice. Oh, I was right up close to that colocoid. And yet it didn't see me. Oh, hi, hello. How are you? You alright? Yeah? I've got one more tunnel to collapse. But at least I'm going to do the bonus mission, so that's good. Did you seriously just attack that? Or did me attacking that start to attack that as well? Oh, okay. I mean, they were far apart, so I don't understand how they could have been linked to each other. But, um, whatevs. And done. Speak to Doc in the secure area. I will do once I kill this bar. Cool. Um, oh, my color code's gone. Alrighty then. Uh, who are you speaking to? You're speaking to a resistance fighter! Hey, 
Hey, look at that. We are alive. Nice work. A lot of wounded here. You're the only doctor? Honey, I do the work of ten medics. And that's on a bad day. Say, you might be wounded and not know it. Let me check you over. Uh, don't... Uh, well, he is a handsome man. I feel fine, but you're the doctor. Let's see... Uh-huh. Hmm. Well, you'll certainly need a more thorough exam. Later. Well, then. I don't know what genius picked a colicoid breeding ground for our medical facility. But we need to evacuate quick. Problem is, my critical patients are too fragile to move. And the Empire stole my trauma kits. Staying here isn't an option. We're going to meet the Resistance leaders right now. Sweetheart, I don't care how gorgeous you are. I won't risk these people's lives. They trusted me to save them. Our scouts say the Imperials sent my trauma kits to their frontline troops on the plains nearby. The depots will be heavily guarded, but I'm sure you'll figure something out. Just hurry. These people don't have much time. Cover the trauma kits. Where are they? Uh, all the way over there. But I think this is a good time to finish this episode here. I don't know how long I've been recording for. Probably like 20 minutes. Most likely. But hey. It's an episode done for the May the 4th thing. So anyway. Yes. Happy May the 4th people. And thank you very much for watching. Ladies and gentlemen. It's been a very average episode. And I will see you next time with her red, red eyes. Even though I'm pretty sure I gave her blue eyes. And a farewell to you. And yes, I know the dark side did that.